Well, good morning from Castaway Key. Here we are. We are getting ready to dock. 7 a.m., just like the captain said. Nice smooth water, so we should be able to get right in. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love, love. I need only you here with me. All right, I am showered, woke up, refreshed, no longer groggy. Groggy sounding Bryson. I'm ready to go. Uh, Crystal said we're docked. They're tied off. They're unloading. We can't quite get off yet, but today you need to make sure when you get to Castaway Key, you have your key to the world card and your ID. It's no different than any port, as even though Disney has a 99 year lease on this island, it's still ran by the Bahamian government. So you're not in America, you're not anywhere else. You need to have your ID, okay? Have I ever been asked for my ID? No. Is the time I don't bring my ID the time I'm going to get asked for my ID? Yes, exactly. So just listen to the rules, follow the rules. Heard a couple people complaining about it from around us. So it's not that big of a deal. It's just like every single port you go to, you got to have your ID. Just do it. But today we're going to snorkel like we always do. So we'll have plenty of GoPro footage of Crystal snorkeling because she's way better than me and goes way further out. We'll see how far I go, but... She's just like the seasoned veteran, so I just let her handle the snorkel footage because I'm just trying not to drown. That's where I'm at with my snorkeling skills. Then we got barbecue, Serenity Bay, the Pelican Plunge Slide that Crystal's going to go race a bunch of kids down. They don't even know that she's going to race them, but she is. So yeah, that's our day, but let's go see how the unloading's going. And that's what they got going, just like... A symphony of trailers and forklifts and pallets, tractors, they got everything. It's crazy. Almost the entire crew of our ship will get off. They're going to get the whole island prepped for us. And I mean, like literally everything they need is on this ship. That's what's crazy. They hardly keep anything on this island. The ship brings what the ship needs. And it's just a perfect symphony. Now, if you've been on Royal, do they do this at Coco Cay? We were supposed to go on a royal cruise this year, but we moved it to next year. So we won't know till next year. So just let me know, like, do the ships bring what they need? Does royal keep stuff on the island? I'd, I'd figure they just bring like when they need stuff brought back. Since there's so many royal ships, they're probably there multiple ships a day. But this is how Disney does it. Cause there's, I think every day but Sunday, I think a ship's coming here. I can't remember. There's one day a week where there's not a Disney ship here. That's what we were told anyway. So I also forgot to mention there is trams down there. If you think that you can't walk to the beach or something like that, there's trams for you. If your kids can't do it, whatever it is, if you just want to take a load off and take the tram, go ahead. But to get to the adult beach, you have to get off at the second stop on the first tram. And then you're going to get on the Serenity Bay tram. And that's going to take you out to Serenity Bay, which is the adults only area. There's just a beach out there, a bar, and there's a bar the barbecue spot that's really all that's out there uh the old drive on the runway which is where you can ride your bikes they got the little 5k path out there um that's that's serenity bay there's umbrellas there's plenty of chairs all that stuff i think as peter said the cruise director there's 2.6 chairs for every guest on this ship so do not worry about running to a lawn chair lounge chair whichever you want there's plenty there is bike rentals and tube rentals and floating pad things out at Serenity Bay, but mainly all of your activities and stuff are all going to be right here at the first beach, the family beach. So that's where like a lot of the activities are gonna be. So if you're not doing the activities, don't worry about it. You wanna go to Serenity Bay, go right ahead. Crystal and I usually go snorkeling, do all that. And then we jump on the tram and we'll go out to Serenity Bay and have lunch. And that's where we'll just relax for like the rest of the day where I'll just, be out in the ocean and she'll read her book and come out and join me and it's just it's really fun but there you go tram system that's what each beach has so it's going to be kind of hard to explain everything out there so i want to get it done now but i'll make sure i show you what all's going on all right we made it out we noticed that like people were leaving and crystal said that there was a ton of people at the buffet 
So we were like, let's just go. Maybe it's not a mad dash like normal, and it wasn't. We just walked right off. Deck one, midship. Nobody waiting. It's great. We got our towels. We got wannabe Backstreet Boys, it sounds like, playing. Here we go. Castaway Key. There goes the first tram heading out. Like I said, there is a tram. However, if you want to walk and enjoy the sights, like stop and take tons of pictures with the Disney Dream and Mickey and the broomsticks are back there painting. Go right ahead. Crystal is. Look at that. She got to get the selfie. Check that out on Instagram later. <laughs> yeah, we just like to walk and take the sights in and sometimes you find a random character to take a picture with that you may not see if you're on the tram. So that's why we walk. Welcome to Castaway Key. That's what the tram sounds like if you didn't know. See, we're walking, but I still do the tram voices. There's the family beach. And here comes the mouse. Head honcho coming through. The big cheese. Someday I will have one of those to drive around our neighborhood. So we got our picture with Mickey. It's like, we got to do that, right? It's his island. You got to get a picture with him. And everybody runs to get a share. But look at this. There's so many. And this is just the first section of chairs. Captain Peter, or Captain Peter, um, Peter last night said that there's 8,000 chairs enough for every person to have 2.3 or something. Yeah. I think I said that earlier. It's like 2.6 <laughs> chairs he said everyone gets. But I mean, there's like hundreds just right here. And everyone's like in a hurry to get a chair. There's plenty of chairs. You're on island time, take your time. Just so you know, right beyond these trees right here, there's a little walkway right there. That's Scuttle's Cove, that's the kids area. So if you wanna bring your kids and go to Serenity Bay for a little bit without them, you can drop them right there. We got first aid right here. That's all the merchandise right there. There's all the water equipment and everything with the Disney Dream in the background. Crystal did those trikes when we were here on the Wish. She might do that again. This is also the first time we've been here where everything is a go. Like there's always been something canceled. Nothing's canceled today. Like this is literally the most perfect conditions we've ever had here at Castaway. There's barely a breeze. All right, we got our snorkel gear. I believe it's 30, it was $36 or $38. I can't remember which one, I apologize. But we get our flippers, our masks, our snorkel, our vests, the bag obviously. And then there's the ship. There is the snorkel area right here. It's got some buoys out there. I mean, it's quite large. It goes all the way down there and there's lifeguards all the way. There's white buoys with like sunken ships. There's actually like old ride vehicles out there. Like one of the Nautilus submarines is out there. There's statues from characters. I'm not going anywhere near how far out you gotta go to get to Mickey. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's the last possible thing you can get to. We're gonna let expert scuba diver Crystal here, even though we're not scuba diving, we're snorkeling. She's still an expert. She's scuba certified like 15 years ago. I was gonna say. <laughs> she can do it. She's way better than I am. I'm not getting anywhere near it. I just like flop around out there and hope to not drown and see what I see. So now it's up to her to see how good a footage we get on the GoPro. No pressure. <laughs>
All right, so I went the entire way in the snorkel lagoon. Never done that before, saw everything. So I'm sitting here, enjoying some sun. We got the ship. I got a pina colada for a reward. This is my favorite drink, raspberry and pina colada. It's delicious. It is literally my favorite drink. If you ever get a chance, you can get these at Disney World too, at any of the resort bars. If you get a chance, try one. Very, very good. And the uh, coconut rum also. All right, here is Pelican Plunge. There is two different slides you can pick to go down. Obviously, you come right off the end. Comes out all the way at the beach. So if you want to do both slides, you have to go down one, come out, get back around, get in, and go do the other one. You cannot just swim under the rope there. Crystal is up there somewhere. We're going to find her, and we're going to see how fast she can go down the slide. Here she goes. Oh, she's not cruising very quick. There she goes. And plunge right into the water. Here we are at the tram, getting ready to jump on the tram to Serenity Bay. That's where we're gonna have lunch, the barbecue. And I believe at Serenity Bay, they have like some ribeye steaks. They're pretty good. So that's a, that's a bonus over there because I do like a good steak. And just so you know, it's mass-produced food, like mass-produced barbecue food. So when I say something's good, I'm not talking about five-star dining, guys. I'm talking about it's good, mass-produced barbecue food, okay? So that's what cruise food is unless you go to a specialty dining restaurant like Paulo on this ship. It's good, mass-produced, banquet-style food. No one ever have I ever said it's five-star dining, okay? But it is really good. I'll tell you right now, the food quality in the main dining room for Disney it's way better in the food quality that we had on Norwegian this last summer. Now the specialty dining, those were on par. Paulo and the Steakhouse Cagneys on Norwegian, those were both really good. I enjoyed them. Anyway, enough talking about that. We're in Disney's paradise right now. And just like that, here we are, Serenity Bay. To the left over here is where you get your barbecue. And right out there is the beach. Here we are. We have found our spot here right on the edge of the water. Crystal is going to read her book. There she is reading her book. And I am going to go swimming. So we will see you when we're all done. Because they serve lunch until about 2. So we'll probably go eat around 1.30. Alright, we are out here. Out here in Serenity Bay. The water is just this beautiful blue. Oh, I love it out here. It's so nice. So nice. Got a little island out there. And I, that boat just has to be there because I swear every time we've ever came to Castaway Key, that boat is at that island. It is gorgeous today. Nice little breeze. So now that I'm a little further away from everyone, I can kind of show you. This is Serenity Bay. There's a bar right there where your key to the world card works, just like on the ship. You might have a pina colava earlier, just charge it to the room. It goes all the way down here. I mean, look at all those chairs. Right to that last umbrella, that is Serenity Bay Beach. And then you can see these orange buoys. That is the area that we're allowed to go in. And if you scuba dive, just like in the lagoon on the family beach, no matter where you're at, you have to have a yellow vest on so the lifeguards know to see you and watch for you. So if they can't see your vest, they know to come find you. But yeah, it's just beautiful out here. Can't get over the turquoise water. We definitely don't have that in Colorado. Crystal was wondering, like, she was like, how come, how come you're just like out in the water? And I was like, well, I can't do this in Colorado in the lakes I fish. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna take every second I can to be out here and enjoy the water. I just missed it. The lifeguard went zooming by on the jet ski because it looks like somebody wandered out all the way over there and you're not supposed to go past the last umbrella. Because someone, last time we were here, there were some kids that ended up on this like point somehow and the lifeguards had to go over there and get them. And it looks like that's where he's heading now because he's like right there. Just pay attention guys, listen to the rules. Okay, that's all you gotta do, just listen to the rules. As you can tell by him taking off, they're always watching. All right, we have decided we are hungry. So we're gonna go over here, have some barbecue, hamburgers, hot dogs, bratwurst, steak, chicken, 
everything right next to it is Windstar, which is where you can rent bikes, snorkel gear, float tubes, all that stuff. It's all right here. So you can do that at Serenity Bay as well. And that's the bar. That's the beach. Just for placement. And the tram is right there. That's where it'll pick you up and drop you off. And don't worry. The soft serve makes it off the ship right here to the island at Serenity Bay. There's also some on the family lagoon. Plenty of soft serve all around. And if they have the banana bread still, it's amazing. Since we have a pretty long line, I mean, I don't think it's that long, but they do. The cast members do. They brought us a tray of Powerades, waters, lemonades, so that you make sure you stay hydrated while you're waiting in line. Because it is not a cloud in the sky right now. Beautiful. So they hand you your plate, and then right here we have all different types of potato salad, coleslaw, macaroni salads, all your toppings for your burger right up there. Then your proteins are around the corner. All right, I got my watermelon, cheeseburger, barbecue brisket sandwich, ribeye, macaroni and potato salad. There was also hot dogs, ribs, oh, and I got a piece of Cajun chicken under the ribeye there. And Crystal got her papaya, looks like a corn salad, cheeseburger, and she got, I believe that's the banana bread. I'm not sure because I was going to go look right now. But that's what we got for lunch, and you can go up as much as you want. It's all you care to enjoy. And they brought out the chocolate chip cookies right as we were leaving. These are delicious. They're nice and soft. They're a good cookie. And the bread was like a cranberry lemon? Raspberry. Raspberry lemon. That's what it was. Nowhere near as good as the old banana bread they used to have. But the cookies are still the same. So I finally get Crystal to go out in the water with me. And it's the time we don't take our camera. We get out there, and we see, like, two starfish. Huge. Like, one of them was the diameter of, like, a basketball. Like, I've never seen a starfish that big. It's crazy. Someone said they saw an eel. Crystal said she saw an eel also. But this other lady said it was a sea snake. But someone else said it was a sea snake. And Crystal doesn't know the difference. All she knows is she heard the word snake. And we are no longer in the water. So we're telling you the story of Crystal and the sea snake. <laughs> so you don't have taking our word. You know what? You're just gonna have to come to Castaway Key and find the basketball-sized starfish. Because of all the times we've been here, which I think it's like five times now, five or six, never seen a starfish out here at Serenity Bay. But I saw two of them today. So I think we're kind of wrapping up our day here at Castaway Key. It's still beautiful. But you know, when all we do is snorkel, go down the slide, and then we just spend the rest of the day relaxing in the ocean and on the beach, and Crystal reads like four books, there's not much more to film. So just know that this is exactly what we wanted. A perfect day. Oh, and the ocean's draining. Yeah, we, <laughs> we did get, I forgot about this. So the, the tide over here is going out. So this algae and everything's coming up, and we were just informed that Disney's draining the water from Serenity Bay. So yeah, Disney, Disney's draining the ocean. So if you are the one who said they're draining it, they're draining it. You made our day because that that was as funny as this day was perfect. So thank you, sir. So just so you know, they have water bottle fillers all over. So I brought my Tervis that I've been using on the ship to drink water and soda whatever I want and we brought it here Crystal and I filled our water bottles so now make sure we have plenty of water we'll see you later Serenity Bay barbecue heading back to the family lagoon do some shopping and walk to the boat and we did not do a very good job showing you where we got our snorkel gear from so right here you have Olaf right here is flipper floats that is where we picked up all of our snorkel gear and it's right next to Wandering Oaken's Trading Post. That is where you just saw Olaf. And then you walk right through those bushes, and that is where the Snorkel Lagoon is. And if you were to turn right here, that will take you to the slide that Crystal went down. So there's a little better optics of how to go snorkeling. You can also go snorkeling anywhere you want, but the Snorkeling Lagoon is where the like figures we saw and everything is and Serenity Bay is not deep enough by any means to snorkel 
like you're like in not even two feet of water oh and there's all the towels see all those bags there's all the towels that's one of the funniest things is how many bags of towels come back to the ship so we have made it to the main merchandise which is right by where you go to like your to the stingray adventure and all that we got like some nice long sleeve shirts sleeveless shirts tank top and like some stores have a shirt wall they have a beach towel wall here looks like they only have three beach balls right three beach towels right now we got pins keychains over here is the shirt wall there was one shirt I really liked I gotta find it up there in the corner Island Mickey there I really like that one but obviously there's a shirt wall and you find your shirt down there and Crystal found this this morning but they only have three double XL's it's a spirit jersey but then what's the sleeve and bottom mesh. it's like mesh that's really cool huh they got that tie-dyed pattern mm -hmm. out here like they have in the store on the ship but I mean they got more clothes back there more of the tie-dyed stuff back there big old straw bucket hats here I mean it's like Disney you know they got they got everything there's more spirit jerseys the ocean theme yeah so there's your look at merch and just how the parks have their icons Castaway Key has its icon Mount Rustmore make sure you get your picture with it when you get here there's usually a photo pass early in the day so you can do it or person behind you in line will take it we'll see you later man goodbye Castaway and just like that we are back in our stateroom on the ship and we got our luggage tags we're red Mickey if you don't know what these are you put these on your suitcases put them outside in the hallway before 10 o'clock and they will pick them up and the next time you see them will be in the terminal tomorrow you just look for your little symbol here red Mickey and that's where your bags will be that means it's one step closer to the end so I think we're gonna pack enjoy watching everybody come back from castaway and just get kind of ready to go it's the worst part of any cruise is the ending of a cruise. Remember I was talking about all the empty bags of towels? That's just one trailer. Like 100 bags. But it's also with all the like stuff they used for cooking and everything, but that's all the laundry. Now we got last wave of people coming. Because we got about mm, 20 minutes. And they are getting everything loaded. Because they actually send stuff back on the ship too. Some of the stuff that says like merchandise, things like that. The other ships just come and restock it and there we go. Looks like they almost got everything on though. That's pretty good. And also we learned that Amazon will deliver to Castaway Key for the people who live here. Basically you have it shipped to the home terminal for one of the ships coming to Castaway Key. And it's not exactly prime fast. But it's not exactly prime delivery, but it will eventually get to you. That's what we were told today by someone who lives on the island. Okay, there's the big towels. The tractor. The giant trailer being pulled by the tractor. Those are all towel bags. Like, how crazy is that? I think those are all of them that are along the family beach. And the one I showed you is the one from Serenity Bay. And then, like, the miscellaneous laundry. But that's all towels. All those, all those bags on that tractor are towels. Crazy. I don't know if you can hear the horn, but it's going off. We have pushed away and we are leaving Castaway. Those guys who live on the island are saying goodbye to us. This is the liveliest bunch I've seen though. <laughs> oh, we got some down there saying goodbye. 
He's captain's playing all the songs on the horn. Goodbye, Castaway Key. See you soon. All right, we are all packed up, ready to go. Sad. Got our tags on our two bags. We're just going to put our big checked bags out and have them take those. We'll each keep our carry-on so we can toss our toiletries and anything miscellaneous we find laying around the room in the morning in there. And we'll be out of here. So we're going to put these in the hallway. And then we're heading to see Disney's Believe in the theater. So it's dead down here in the uh, atrium. We've got a really good guitar player. Crystal and I literally just took pictures with everybody. Like all the backdrops, everything. Everybody must be packing. Maybe there won't be anyone at the show. Who knows? I've never seen an atrium this dead on the last night. Wow. Everybody has to be packing. There she is. There's my queen. I mentioned I wanted cold brew because I'm tired. And she ran upstairs and got me a cold brew from Vista Cafe right up there. Oh, the coffee queen. So we are in the Walt Disney Theater for Disney's Believe, the third and final Broadway production. And we have the violinist that's been playing in the main atrium playing music for us in here. Anyway, can't record the show. See you after. So we have made our way into Evolution. We do every night after the shows. And tonight they are doing what's called Songbook at Sea. So one of the Broadway musicians is going to come in here and they're going to play all through the different songbooks of all the Disney shows and basically giving us a demonstration of how they do things here at sea with all the fantastic shows. I mean, why not, huh? Let's just listen to some good music and enjoy our last night here in Evolutions. And by the way, Disney Believe, underrated show. It's very good, very cute, and it's a callback to a lot of nostalgic Disney characters for me. So. Give it a shot when you are on a Disney Cruise Line and they have Disney Believe. It's worth it's worth going to see. So tonight we are in Enchanted Garden. Let's see here. The Ahi Tuna Avocado Tower. That's literally just get that. Don't worry about anything else. Just get that. Get two of them, get three of them, whatever you need to do. So then the salads and tomato soup, spinach raspberry salad, I usually get the wedge. We got a multi-grain roll with chickpea garlic paste for our dip tonight. And I mean, sea scallops and prime rib. Get some surf and turf, that's what I'm doing. Do it every time here, it is wonderful. And there is your vegetarian and your lighter note offerings. All right, here you go. Tuna avocado tower, two of them. Crystal also got the mushroom tart. But I'm serious, don't don't walk, run to get this and get two of them, maybe three. So our entrees have arrived and I got the seared sea scallops as did Crystal, but I got surf and turf. So there is my prime rib. Sticky date pudding, that's where it's at. And the chocolate brownie sundae. The pecan tart is good. The lemon raspberry mousse was okay. And the tort was pretty good. So I'm gonna go with sticky date pudding, that's for sure. And the sundae. Crystal will probably get the orange almond cake. And once again, she has her souffles. This is all she would eat if they'd let her. They probably would let her. I won't let her because that's not fun for her being lactose intolerant and me being her husband. Look at that. Look at that service. One more. There it is. Look how happy she is. Thank you. Oh. And I just got sticky day pudding and a sundae with peanut butter chunks. I'm happy too. Here's the saddest part of the cruise. When the cruise magnets come off the door, and we got our first place medal. Man, 
I gotta say thank you to everyone who like wrote such nice comments about our door because the only thing I did on this door was all those marble magnets. Crystal does it all and she does a great job and it's like her own little reward that people enjoy what she decorates so much because she loves doing it. Now she's gonna have to decorate the doors at home. You made my flamingo magnets. I did make your flamingo magnets because we do sell those, yes. But now she's gonna have to decorate doors at home, make towel animals, and make churro Mickey waffles. She's got a full schedule when we get home. Don't you worry. And then, is this a rabbit? It is a rabbit. And what is this? Oh, this was hanging on our door. Yeah. Okay. Crystal said there was something hanging on our door. Got a snap bracelet. Spider-Man mask. Questionnaire. We only got a Marvel Day at Sea questionnaire about the Marvel Day at Sea because apparently somehow Deck 8 got selected to try out the new app-based survey. So you used to get a paper survey about your whole cruise which everyone else did as well. But I guess deck eight got picked as the deck that is going to only do an app-based survey. So I do it right from the app. He showed me how to do it at dinner and we're good to go. So we just have this for our paper survey and then they told me to make sure I hit send or else it doesn't register. So I'm gonna go do that actually right now. Here we are, one last Bryson on the couch session. Crystal's putting away the magnets and everything, man. I just, it was a good time. That Marvel Day at Sea, the Marvel Day at Sea did it for me. Not that this was a bad cruise, but I mean, everything we did for the Marvel Day at Sea, the show, the food, everything, the trivia is so cool, so fun, so different. And that's what I was looking for on this cruise. What's something different that we can do since we've sailed on everything? I got salt, the salt water in my eye here. Look at that, that's fun. I am, I'm blown away. We had good service. I mean, we've had always had good service. I couldn't tell you a time we've had bad. We've had maybe not the best, but we've never had bad. And this trip was no different. I mean, our servers were amazing. Our room attendant, he did a wonderful job. I mean, this is how I judge a room attendant. If I never have to see you and everything gets done, you've done a perfect job. Because if I need to see you, that means something happened, right? He made our bed, cleaned our room wonderfully. The only request I had was for a couple extra pillows and they were here that night when we went to bed. It was wonderful. And he was very personable. Every time we saw him in the hallway, very nice, very polite. So again, good job. Another good Disney cruise. So with that said, I am exhausted from snorkeling all day today. I am so tired. And we still got a few things we got to pick up here because we're gonna deke our carry-ons with us tomorrow off the ship. So got a few things still to throw in those. And tomorrow morning, because if you didn't know on a Disney cruise, you have breakfast or you had dinner. So we will have breakfast in Enchanted Gardens tomorrow morning, and then we're off the ship. And that's really all it is. So we don't vlog our last day, our disembarking day. So this is it guys. Thank you all for coming along again. We appreciate it. If you have any questions whatsoever about anything, put them in the comments and we do our best to get to those as soon as we possibly can. But thank you again all for watching. If you haven't done so, click subscribe, click that like button and click that bell icon so you get notified all about our future adventures. But most importantly, thank you all so much for watching and for the love of the mouse, never forget that it all started with a mouse. We only need